What's going on, everybody? Ladies, specifically, um, we are talking about menopause today, all right? I've been putting up some content on Instagram, Facebook about this topic, um, but now I'm going to put a longer video, this one, on YouTube, all right? So, dealing with clients who are going through menopause, all right? <clears throat> um, sensitive subject, sensitive topic. Uh, it is a natural thing that occurs in middle-aged women at different times. Everyone has different symptoms and yeah, we want to achieve our goals while we go through this process. So what are some of the symptoms that you are dealing with? hot flashes, we got night sweats, insomnia, unable to sleep, uh, low energy, fatigue, high cravings, no appetite at all, um, bloating, inflammation, uh, the list goes on. Um, we got a slower metabolic rate, um, huge increase in body fat, which seems like it came overnight. Um, especially in the midsection so um, a number of things that is going on during this time and obviously it hits people at different times so as far as <clears throat> trying to achieve your goals what are the best approaches or what's the best direction for um, you or this individual going through this right so first we want to look at lifestyle um, <clears throat> your stress management, um, your sleep, non-exercise activity, um, obviously nutrition, things you eat, processed foods, sugars. So you want to look at the whole picture to be able to manage and address what we need to address, right? To help mitigate the symptoms and also help you achieve your goals while you work through this. So um, from the lifestyle standpoint of stress, you have to, um, if you believe in meditating, meditate, um, having time to yourself, just sit alone, breathe, doing breath work, um, praying, if that's what you do. Um, yeah, just really trying to mitigate as much stress as possible. Uh, supplements, adaptogens, um, ashwagandha is a good one that um, I recommend some clients to use. It, um, it does help aid in decrease of stress, but you yourself will have to um, practice um, some of the things I just listed to um, help with that stress. And then your sleep, getting in a good sleep routine, a good sleep pattern so that you can you know wake up feeling refreshed wake up feeling alert so that you can not only perform with your training but also for your day-to-day -day with your kids husbands wife whatever the situation is all right you want to be in the, the most optimal position and then um looking at the non-exercise activity um which i have listed this under lifestyle because us as a society now we don't do the whole step thing we don't walk as often as we should we work from home we watch tv we're on our phones there's a lot of sitting sitting down happening um versus how it was 20 15 30 years ago right like um needing to move um and get out so this is going to be under that lifestyle category now going into the training application so strength training all right hands down is going to be your best um, thing to incorporate um, obviously helping you increase the lean muscle mass so that you can increase your metabolic rate so that you can um, prevent that uh, de decrease in bone density because as you age that does decrease as well um, and it's just uh, going to be a lot less stressful than the high intensity training the circuits the jumping up and down the stuff you see on instagram right so strength training really having a good solid program to follow um, it's going to help you out a lot 
uh, low to moderate cardio, right? Um, this can be anything that you enjoy, but just making sure that it isn't going to crash your body, all right? Something that's going to keep your uh, fatigue levels low. Make sure that your body isn't stressed out or being ran into the ground. All this jumping and um, again, refer, referring back to Instagram, following these Instagram workouts where people are just jumping and just doing all sorts of things, all right? It's catchy on the eye, but as far as your body is concerned, this isn't going to be the um, approach that you need in order to um, burn body fat, build the lean muscle, and you know lose the stubborn body fat that you want, right? So making sure that you are aware of that um, because more than likely the stress levels are going to increase, your fatigue levels are going to increase. If you do a workout and it feels like you just left a boxing match, then <laughs> it's not for you. You need to uh, regroup look at what you're doing and decrease some of that volume. Um, if you are not recovering well, you are sore all the time, you need to reevaluate the exercises that you are selecting and make sure that again, it is low to moderate intensity as far as cardio is concerned and it's strength training, all right? You're getting stronger and you're implementing weights into your program, all right? Um, the nutrition perspective, um, obviously whole foods are going to be your best bet. Staying away from the processed foods, um, staying away from sugar, mitigating as much alcohol consumption as possible. I'm not saying be a robot. Obviously enjoy yourself, live your life, but there has to be that 80-20 balance um, if you want to make any dent in your body fat, right? So getting everything frozen meals and um, fast food restaurants and all of these things like that isn't going to be the answer for you. Um, protein bars aren't going to be the answer for you. Getting whole foods in is going to be what you need and making sure that you're consistent with it. Every two and a half, three hours is going to help you out. It's going to mitigate those cravings and it's also going to help you stay on track with um, how much you're eating. Because if you aren't tracking anything, then more than likely you're going to be overeating, consuming too much calories, carbs, and fats. And then that's going to add more to your overall body fat. So make sure you're tracking it. Either meal plan, my fitness pal, or something. Even if you're doing portion control, just make sure you stay consistent with those meals. All right. Um, supplement recommendations. Uh, Obviously, your multivitamins, your omega-3, we got D3 plus K2, all right, K2 and D3 works together. Um, you got your vitamin C and vitamin B, so you're going to need both of those, magnesium and turmeric. Um, I love turmeric, it's good for the inflammation and things like that, so you can get the uh, actual supplement in the pill or powder form. Um, I actually use the, uh, the, the seasoning, the, the herb itself so um yeah making sure that you touch bases on all of these things the lifestyle consideration all right the training application the cardio protocol all right making sure that you um, are not killing yourself with a lot of cardio thinking that that's the answer and then your supplements trying to check those boxes off all right um, and then obviously if you have discussed any of this with your doctor um, they may, you know, prescribe um, some HRT, but I know a lot of people want to take the natural route. So this video here is for that individual who is trying to go the natural route. So um, I touched on a few key points. I hope this has helped give you a perspective on how I address certain situations. Obviously, all the answers aren't here, but. If you do want further guidance on this, please DM me or hit the link in my bio um, and we can discuss um, this situation that you're going through and uh, figure out what's going to be the best direction for you and how we can help you achieve your goals while going through menopause. All right. Um, like, 
comment, subscribe, and I will talk to y'all soon. Deuces.